Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Dwarven Tavern. I am Dr. Jeff Collins, your host, and this time is another Mutants and Masterminds review. Oh, it's got that new book smell still. Ah, I love that. Um, I know it's weird, but, you know, books. Okay, so this one is Emerald City. Uh, I mentioned Emerald City in the last review about Hero High, and uh, so I thought I would follow up with this guy, trying to get caught up on my Mutants and Mastermind stuff. And um, I, just, I just love this game. It's one of my favorite superhero games uh, uh, ever. And uh, so this one, this one goes for fifty nine ninety five, and uh, it's uh, from Mutants and Masterminds Third Edition, Emerald City. And it, just like Freedom City, this is Emerald City, only it's not like it at all. But it is very similar in that it is also a city. I don't know. Um, so what do we have here? So this is a setting that uh, that is. Let's see, I'm trying to I'm trying to see if there's a map. Yeah, I'm sure there's there's maps everywhere. Oh, <laughs> lo and behold, praise and begara. I can say that because I'm Irish. Um, and you know what? You can say it too, even if you're not Irish. If you are Irish, you can also say it, or not. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to get this unfolded and it's being a blemish on my conscience and my patience. So, uh, this is the holy moly, hardest map I've ever tried to unfold. Maybe it's me. Um, this is a map of, and I'll, I'll post a, an actual map. Uh, this is an, an, a map, it's a fold-out map, very nice, um, of, uh, of Emerald City and uh, the Arcadian Peninsula, Hook Point, Hookville, Bridge Point, etc. So, uh, <laughs> invaluable. I just straight up, straight up, straight off the bat, um, if you're, if you're going to run an in-depth campaign of Mutants and Masterminds, this is a must. I think um, in this book we've got uh, blah, blah, blah. it has uh, twelve chapters, twelve chapters in the book. Uh, the history, the sitting and surrounds, uh, life in Emerald City, Emerald City series, the Emerald City heroes like the Sentinels, uh, Dragon Eye, Kid Robot, and so forth. The secrets of Emerald City, this section is a secret past, the secrets of the city, much like uh, Freedom City had its own secrets. And this, this may or may not be something that you want your players to, to uh, have or to read. Uh, although, you know, if you're, if you're good at, a, at playing the game, you can know everything about the story and still act like you don't and not give anything away. It takes, it takes some talent to do that, but you know, it, it can happen. It can happen. I've, I play with a lot of good players who uh, I can tell the story, like Tavernier Lyric. Um, we're playing a, a campaign of uh, characters that are saints, and uh, I had to have her do artwork because I don't art. And uh, I had to, it was a major spoiler for her, but she did the art, no complaints, and didn't give anything away, which, you know, kudos to her ability. And Ian, Tavernier Ian, is just like that, too. He can know everything about it and not give anything away. And not base his character's decisions on what, and in lyrics also, uh, not base their character's decisions and behavior on what they know as players. That's a trick. And you may have that, uh, you may have that ability, and you may have gamers, you may have, you know, players that, if you Dungeon Master or whatever, um, so we've got uh, chapter six is a secret past, secrets of the city, uh, secret life of Emerald City, law and order, uh, Emerald City underworld, the Emerald City threats, and new game rules, advantage, speed of thought, the affliction flaw, and growth extra. So that's very cool. I like it when they introduce new rules. Uh, Number one, it means you're going to have to buy this book. <laughs> but number two, it's a new rule. So, And then uh, the Emerald City Knights in the prologue, the Silver Storm, uh, part one, picking up the pieces and out of their league. And then we've got part 
uh, wow, it's like extra, what, seven, eight chapters, but they're parts of the prologue. Uh, power play, sea change, which is actually an adventure. So yeah, uh, this actually has its own, the Emerald City Knights and their, their adventure. So <laughs> that's really cool. I didn't even, I didn't even notice that at first. So again, uh, much like uh, Freedom City, this has a, a plethora of uh, options and it's got all of the delineated locations. The map, maps are really well done. Uh, I believe, I'm not really sure uh, if you buy the book, you get the PDF too. I'll have to check into that, but um, I would recommend it for, I mean, another thing you could do is just take a picture of it with your phone. Uh, Cam Scanner is a good app for Androids that allows you to take uh, a very nice and save it as a PDF, an image. And then you can post that or whatever. Uh, I, I always like to put uh, maps on a screen for my players to see, uh, sometime a projection on a wall or whatever. Or lay a, I built a thing for a widescreen TV to sit into without messing up the table. So you can lay a flat screen on its back and play the map thusly. Yeah, all of the characters and I mean it's it's it has very uh, detailed NPCs and heroes like Vortex and so forth, Silverfall and uh, all the maps, all the different parts of the map. It's not just one city. I mean it is it's Emerald City, but it's not just one big map. It's got uh, like Yellow Brick Row <laughs> Emerald City University, Joint Base Clark Gordon, Fort Brewer Naval Base, Talax Robot and Bay Bridge, Fort Breckenridge. There's always a Fort Breckenridge somewhere, everywhere. Riverfront, Emerald Tower, and, and I mean it has a lot of, a lot of stuff in it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I love the amount of detail that uh, Green Ronin goes into with their with their books. Because I've have seen some books that just I mean they got a lot of stuff written in them but they just there's just not enough there's no detail um, I can't remember anything any examples of any games that have a lot of talk but no detail because I put them out of my mind <laughs> as quickly as I can so I, I don't remember them uh, Double Time who is a hero and she is a hero and uh, Urzats weirdo. And so forth. So, kill shot. It's always got to be a kill shot. And it just goes on and on. It is a total of 334 pages, including the index and license agreement in the back. So, you know, 60 bucks is not a lot to pay for this much information because there's so many ideas and so many story hooks and so many uh, characters and so much information that you just, you could go on for a long time with, uh, with just this book until you need to go to Freedom City and then you gotta get that book too. So, which I'm all for. If the books are good, you get them all, which this is. So, uh, this is Emerald City. Mutants of Mastermind 3rd Edition goes for $59.95 at your favorite mutantsofmastermind.com or your greenronin.com. Tell them I sent you. They might let you buy a book. Kid Robot. So I just love it. I love all of the, the variety uh, and the, uh, the options because that, that's, what, that's what it's all about for me. Uh, you, you need options to keep it, keep it fresh and keep it real. Keep it hip hopping. <laughs> no. Sorry. Um, so yeah, yeah. Highly recommend Five Axes Emerald City from uh, Green Run and Publish and the Mutants of Mastermind Third Edition game. So on that happy note, I am Dr. Jeff Goins, your host throughout all of these wonderful reviews of all these Five Axes games. Um, I haven't I haven't seen a bad game in a while, so I apologize for being so positive. Actually, I don't. And uh, 
So we actually, or the entire cast and crew of the Dwarven Tavern, wish for you to want for nothing but adventure. And at first I feared it, then I charged. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.